Seven games this year. This is his team. He has been a vocal leader along the way. But they will start off on the ground, and this man has been a bull killer and his opportunities to go up against them. Carr has a touchdown in each of his last two meetings against USF. On that a little bit later on. This snap from Bull territory, it is Toon who will keep it. Clayton Toon with the first down, then some. Toon will be dragged down at the 26-yard line. Off and running, Cougars are on the move. 23 yards on the quarterback keeper. Toon now threads one in, finds Bryson Smith, who finds Pater. Touchdown Cougars, 28-yard touchdown connection from Toon to Smith. Both Johnson as well as Cade Fortin, but still won the roll for that opener. And he is one for one to start the day. So second and a short eight. Steps up, nothing doing just yet. Now has his man once again, second time already to Bryce Miller into Cougar territory. Florida on this opening draw. And McLeod feels the pressure, the embrace from David Anini, and it is fourth down. This time after the transfer of De'Ara King at the end of last year. Moba Carr again, you're starting running back today. It'll be Toon who keeps it and has the first down carry, about a 16-yard gain for Toon. Get the first first down first. Again, Moba Carr is starting for Kyle Porter, and now they'll give it to Chandler Smith, the senior. Smith around the edge. Smith down the sideline into Cougar, or pardon me, Bulls territory, down to the 37-yard line. Six yards later, Bellamy able to force him out of bounds. End around here to Smith. Already one trip into the end zone today, and it's going to take the entire team photo for this Bulls defense to put a halt to his run, but not before he moves the sticks again with another first down. Greer, who is among the 13 players the Bulls are without today. Toon, big gap up the middle and has a personal escort down the field. Clayton Toon untouched. 26 yards later, touchdown H-Town. Play college ball in his backyard on special teams for the Cougars this year out of Spring, Texas. Here's Jordan McLeod, plenty of room to roam, and finally the baseball slide for the first down after a 12-yard game. And they only had so many healthy bodies they could play. McLeod down the middle, broken up, almost a tip drill. It'll be incomplete, fourth down for the Cougars, who otherwise had marched downfield for 75 and 80 yards for their touchdowns. Back to Toon. Toon again with a blocker in place. And Toon with the catch will take it down to the 35 of South Florida. Carr on first down. Carr with blocks in place, pops it to the outside. Moba Carr eyeing the first down marker. And a nice 11-yard gain for, again, the man who's stepping in for Kyle Porter today. And on third and two, Clayton Toon has the first down and will wisely get down. Another first down inside the three. Toon will follow Smith. Clayton Toon eyeing the end zone for the second time today. Touchdown, Cougars. Now Holgerson, who got half a year last year with Toon. Miller's going to be maybe a yard shy of the first down with his third catch on the day. So nobody for the Cougars defense can get to it. Toss to his left to Batie. And Brian Batie able to stay upright, crosses midfield, and Brian Batie will be knocked out of bounds at the 40 in Cougars territory. McLeod under pressure. Cougars will get the stop, get the ball back at midfield. Coming up for the sack, it's Jordan Moore. So perhaps Clayton Toon is the answer of stepping in and filling the shoes of Speedy Stevenson. Right on cue. Putting a spy on Clayton Toon. Make sure that I don't let him get out the pocket. Toon looking to share the wealth on first down. It's back to the end zone. And back to Keith Corbin. This one on the fly, Marcus Jones. Marcus Jones across midfield, and just an ankle tackle, denying him additional yardage. Back touchdowns on the last two drives. Why not throw it to the guy who is a mile open for the first down? Has to think a little bit more. Houston is three for five today on third downs. Toon able to buy himself time. Gets rid of the football before he is hit. It'll be fourth down, and we'll see what Dana Holgerson has in mind he, to make this a game. 47-yard try from the sophomore Kyle Ramsey. 
He's made all four extra points, but unable to add the three points on. Go ahead and do against this Houston front four. So they move backwards four yards. McLeod looking for Miller. Incomplete fourth down. Like that. Look for Houston and maybe go ahead and try to confuse him because they know he's young. Marsh on third down. His receiver was blanketed. Nice coverage denying Mitchell Brinkman the chance to secure that in. Likely would have been short anyways. A quick trip to start his college days at Ole Miss in Oxford in the SEC. Jones. And Jones across midfield. Jones just waiting for somebody. Jones inside the 20 to the 10. And for the fifth time in his career, will not be stopped. Batiste. But he trying to make something happen still on his feet. Which gives you that big six foot four target downfield, just unable to connect. This time, Dollison underneath. He'll be hit right at the line to gain to move the sticks. Just narrowly, this a snap from the red zone. But he able to keep his feet, not able to fall in the end zone, but kept his balance long enough for the first down. Good job playing big and physical. Williams on the coverage, scoops up the ball. This ball is picked off and will go the other way. Cougars have struggled to find turnovers this year. This one will find Pater. Derek Parrish. Team defense, we see bobbles the snap coming in, and now you have the blind side sack coming in from the offside from Anini. Parrish catches it in the air, and he does the rest. He is bumbling, stumbling all the way to pay dirt. The defensive score as well. Cloud back in. And able to make the play and fight for his quarterback, Latrell Williams. Both coordinators from that Conference USA program, including Glenn Spencer from FAU. And there is Trey Odoms Dukes able to squeeze in that one. Of us watching the replay over and over again saw the arm going forward. This ball certainly going forward. And how about the run that these receivers are now putting on with these great catches. This time, it's Xavier Weaver. Give, it, give him a chance to go and get the ball. Xavier Weaver did just that. And now they'll give it to their big bodied back. First carry on the day for Leonard Parker is the first score of the day for South Florida. USF and thus remote video conferencing came in handy. McLeod. And again, these receivers starting to shine with the return of McLeod. The trip into the end zone. Down the middle. Oh, that's a big target. The collegiate debuts a little ahead of schedule. A shovel. Batie. And again, Batie has been. It would be consecutive drives culminating in scores. McLeod. Nobody open downfield. Finally will tuck it down. First down for Jordan McLeod, and he'll take a seat right on the 20. McLeod down the middle. Another first down strike. Play. Called it uh, every time. McLeod on second and goal. Able to find the scoring strike to Omarion Dollison. Second straight drive for Jeff Scott's Bulls to end in the end zone. Third and a short two, a long one. A little timing pattern and it's picked off. Now is the Bulls defense looking to get in on the fun. Pick six, Bentley Sanders. <laughs> Part of this secondary that's homegrown out of Tampa. He'll take it the other way for the 37-yard score. Short and short, Bentley Sanders is already anticipating the quick out by Corbin in the slot, and he does just that, steps right in front of it, and he is off to the races. Bentley Sanders throw up for this Houston Cougars offense. Pocket holds up, tuned down the middle, first down. Took the pop, but held on to the football, and Nathaniel Tank to find a rhythm when they've had the football. Oh, the season parted wide open. Finally tossed out of bounds at about here the Big East title. They did it by beating USF that year. Cougars still looking for their first offensive score. Smith is going to bring them within about six yards of doing so. For meetings between these two teams as members of the American back corner. Touchdown. Trahan goes up, squeezes it in. Clayton Toon. Dollison. 
Dawson looking for an explosive play of his own, but it'll be stopped at the 15-yard line. Ball came loose. Cougars football. Oh, what a costly turnover if Dawson wasn't down. Playing all the way through the whistle, Amari and Dawson. He's breaking back inside to the middle of the field, and you can see right now putting their helmet where the ball is, forcing the fumble. They have a lot of confidence in him. Have to imagine he will be handing the football off quite a bit. Well, maybe just one time is all it takes. Davis Beal. Nice sustained drives here in the second half. It's led to scores. McLeod under pressure, fires one up for Dollison and just off his shoulder, incomplete. Cougars come up with a stop and they got a lick on McLeod before it was all said and done.